Hey YouTube, Allie here. This is my apartment tour. It's like 10.30 on a Tuesday and if I don't record this now, I never will. I've been living here for about five months. It's currently January. I moved in in August. Uh, not fully furnished because I'm on this vacation. It took all my decoration money. So it was worth it though. <laughs> but let's get into how I've been living for the past five months. So when you first come in, there is my coat closet. I have my purse up here, my coats, of course, and my favorite jackets, as well as some of my most commonly worn shoes. Uh, on this side, it's <laughs> a little empty for guest coats. You know, I guess I gotta leave space for them. This is my ring light case and my extra stand. I just put it there because, I mean, I didn't have nowhere else to put it. And a little bit more shoe space for people. So that is directly across from the door. A little bit of space, you know. <laughs> and here I have my key holder and purse. You know, I like to wear that purse sometimes. I also have on my Christmas lights because I like this lighting better. I don't have a ceiling light, so it's either this or my lamp. So after you take off your shoes, you see my living room. So you walk in and first people notice my mirror mostly. Hey, go me. Outfit cute. <laughs> uh, I got this mirror from Home Goods. It's like seven feet tall. I'm like, I come like right here, I guess. And this was only $89 at Home Goods. Absolutely love it. I squeezed it in my car because I was impatient and I didn't want to wait for my stepdad to pick it up for me. So here's my couch. The next thing you see, I got this couch from Value City. It's called like the Roxy couch or something like that. And most of like all of the gray pillows came with it, but the two yellow ones I got from the store called At Home. Here is my coffee table. I got this from Wayfair. I ordered it online. Bones cracking. <laughs> this is just a little card game holder. I have a pencil there for Taboo. <laughs> and I have some chocolates in there, some chewy candy in there. You can see it from the top, of course. This is my painting from Ghana. I absolutely love it. And patios right there I'm, I am on the second floor so I do like that it's really quiet so that is this view and also I have a chair here that I got from home goods pillow from at home I do have my TV unplugged because I'm not watching it gotta save my bills <laughs> this is a wood burning fireplace that I absolutely love it's one of the main reasons why I moved in here here's an insider exclusive on how I work my fireplace. First, I pull, no, push. Yep, push that open. It's kind of all dirty inside because I use it a lot. It got stuck s'more right there. But we're gonna clean that later. Get my fire starter from Walmart. It says to only use one, but. I don't see no problem using two. Try to spread them out a little bit. Then I wanna make sure the wood is kind of dispersed. I got more firewood in my storage outside. I need to get a fire holder, but for now, these three would do. Gotta make sure safety first. And that is how I start my fire. Give it a few minutes to toast up. I 
I have a globe here to remind myself it's more than Indiana out here in the world. And my candle, I really love this. I got this from like Burlington Coat Factory of all places. Right here, I really want a plant to like hide the cord. Uh, but tall plants are really expensive. They're like $200, so I'm like, no plant for now. Across from the patio is this sort of view. My chair, my fake plants. I got these two container things from Ross and the plants are from Marshall. I go to the most random stores and find some of the best home stuff. So that is the full view of my living room. So after my living room, you see the hallway. And immediately to your right is my laundry room. This is another reason why I moved into the apartment. Washer and dryer did come with the apartment. Really love that. I keep my mail here. <laughs> Don't know what else to do with it. Need like a mail holder. Up here is just some random things. This is what I use to start my fire. I keep it up here because my nephew comes over. And I just want to make sure, you know, all that is out of the way. Got some more laundry stuff. <laughs> some tools, I guess. Uh, extra comforter for guests. Stool. I don't know. A uh, laundry bag, trash can, water heater, vacuum, and carry-on suitcase, you know, if I ever want to head out. So across from the laundry room is my linen closet. In here I have like a blanket, uh, my kitchen, extra towels. Lots of rags, towels, extra toothbrush, brush, ugh. extra toothbrush for guests. I also have extra bonnets and shower caps. Really big on hair. I have taboo. My goal is to get more games uh, for right here, but I don't have that right now. This is random stuff like light bulbs, um, tissue. My apartment gave me a bag of light bulbs, which was great. I'm like, thanks, energy saving or what and whatnot. My small little hallway. I got this from Hobby Lobby. I bought it as turban material, but it was kind of matching the vibe of my hallway. So I cut a piece off and put it here. I got this painting from Ghana it, when I studied abroad and it was covered in ants when I got it. So I thought about not buying it, but Kinda, they helped me tap it out and shake off all the bugs. I guess it was collecting dust, but I really thought it was a cool picture. Bye, Nana, thank you. This is my calabash. Uh, we used to sing a song. <laughs> I guess you're supposed to drink liquor out of it. And above this, here's my kente claws. We went to the Ashanti village and I really like this one. It was about some queen. I don't remember her name. I should have remembered. But really like the colors. This is a painting I got in the market. This is a painting that I did. Kind of matched the vibe. So, you know, had to include that. We got this our first night in Ghana. Our hotel was like three hours slow making our dinner. So this was like their apology. And there's like, on the back, it tells you what each symbol means. So next we will go left to my kitchen. Turn on the light because it's a little dull in here. Uh, might as well get out the way. This is my dining room space. <laughs> Welcome to my table. You know, only one person can sit at a time. Everybody else stand up. <laughs> This is a view from the living room. Uh, just don't really feel the need to prioritize a dining room table yet. All my friends sit in the living room when we eat, and if not, you can sit there while I cook and talk to me. 
Also have my ring light in here. I don't know what else to do with it, honestly. So here is my stove, you know, standard stove. Hung up my little mitts. Got my little tiny blender knife set. This cabinet is like my seasoning, snacks, and you know, chips. I have paper plates and like baking stuff, flour, sugar, cornstarch, all that jazz. Here's my fridge. Home is where the wine is. My wine tree is empty, but <laughs> got some good old Colorossi. Love Colorossi because it lasts like weeks. Here's some photos. <laughs> this is me and Ghana, my forever mood and goal. Some of my wine sisters and friends. I don't know if y'all wanna see what's in my fridge. But like, I don't really have that much. I only shop for what I will eat in the next few weeks because my food goes bad. So I just got chicken, shrimp, catfish, ice cream, fries. <laughs> and my fridge is really empty, y'all. Don't judge me. I got mostly juice, <laughs> milk, lunchbox, lots of sauces. Uh, again, I only buy enough food for about a week or so because... I was wasting so much food. Here is my silverware and all of that stuff. Down here I have my pots and pans. Up here is where my crock pot goes, but I'm using that currently. A lot of people say they don't use this, but I do because it's clean and I don't have that much space. <laughs> so this is where I keep all my oven pans gotta make space of this <laughs> what i can because as you can see my kitchen is tiny so i don't have that much counter space or ca cabinet space really this is my cleaning stuff and all the usual things you put under a sink i like to keep this here to drain my dishes i don't want to use my counter space because look at my counter space it's so tiny I am making buffalo chicken dip currently. <laughs> Gotta have my wine, you know, you know. But my counter space is so tiny. So you may notice I don't have a microwave anywhere. For the past five months, I've only been using my oven or stove to cook. I don't hate it. Um, sometimes when I go over to my mom's or Cameron's house, I do bring some food to heat up. Here's my calendar. Up here, I have my wine glasses. I keep breaking these. I had like four of them, but now I'm down to one. My shot glasses and all of that. Need to get more wine glasses, but I don't really have that many guests over because I'm too lazy to host. Here is my other cabinet. My plates. I got these from Ikea. All of these are from Walmart. Got some cups here. These are from like Walmart, Target, Home Goods. Here are my mugs. Look at this mug that my best friend made. Look at this mug. Yo, this is amazing. I just have to show y'all. That's me, the nice one. Jazz, the crazy one. Tony, the strong one. Super cute. Oops. Shit. Can't break it. <laughs> Let me put that back up there. And I got like some rice, and this is where I keep like my pasta medicine. I mean, I don't know. Told you I don't have that much space. <laughs> so, that is what's in my cabinet. I really want to get like a rug air fryer but I mean where would I put this stuff oh almost forgot this cabinet this is where I keep all my Tupperware 
I like to cook and living alone, I do have a lot of leftovers if my boyfriend isn't eating it. Sometimes I make his meal prep and also bring him all over Tupperware, so that comes in handy. Have a few food trays in my rice cooker, more Tupperware here. This is my silverware drawer slash throw everything else in here drawer. You know, don't have one of those drawers where I can just throw crap in, so it's like a, a mix. <laughs> I do have a washer, but I don't use it because I never have enough dishes to fill it up. That's why I like this system because it forces me to do my dishes and stop being lazy. Directly across from my kitchen is my bathroom. What's up? Here's a little sign. Too busy being pretty. My pledge mom made me that. So I have this big mirror. I tried to, tried to clean it because it was a mess. <laughs> I do have this uh, medicine cabinet. Got some more medicine. I should have put like, my cough drops in here, but whatever. Got some face stuff that I never use, but probably should. Nail stuff, band-aids. Just a lot of random stuff in here. Then I have this tray of hair ties and bobby pins because I am already always needing one. So kinda gotta make sure they're always handy. Paper towels, me and bay toothbrush, soap and Q-tips. Kleenex, and here is where I put my flower wall. I didn't really know where else to put it, and it matched the colors of my bathroom. So it goes here. If I wanted to record, I would bring a chair here, put my ring light here, but I haven't yet made a video in here. I did <laughs> cut out a spot so I could use my blow dryer and had a night light in there for a little while. <laughs> When I first moved in. Under here is my hair stuff. It's kind of cluttered back here. <laughs> so this is my hair bin. All of my hair products. My pledge mom made me this little cute little basket. Thanks Taylor. Here's some new hair products. Can't really fit in there. Blow dryer. These are where I keep my turbans and my like turby twist hair tie, hair towel. I keep my aloe vera under here because I use it for my hair. I don't drink it, haven't really gotten into that. So just keep it under there. This is a basket full of mess. And I got some some lotions and other randomness. You know, never enough of that randomness. So that is my bathroom. Here is the shower. And I really like the curtain, I got it from Amazon because it matches the flower wall. The toilet, Cameron's towel. Regular shower, you know. I made this like sophomore year in college and I thought it was interesting because I did not yet have a flower wall. And ironically, this matches like the whole theme. So I guess I knew myself. <laughs> Little decorative towel. And there's my robe and towel. I made this with my line sisters. With a pajama night, so that's me. So that is my bathroom. Pretty lights. Decent size, you know. And finally, there is my bedroom. Love my bed. Got this from Wayfair. The border and the mattress. It's a memory foam. Oh, I got the paintings from at home, the store. 
as well as the plants. Um, got my diffuser over there. And I really need some curtains. <laughs> So this is my bed, it's a king size. Over here's my lamp. I don't have a ceiling light, but I do have my Christmas lights. I don't have a TV in here. Don't hate it. <laughs> Ikea dresser. I point shoes from high school. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Can y'all see me? This is my line name. I tried to paint, you know, be tight, whatever. Uh, got this from Burlington. I spray painted this. It used to be blue. I was supposed to keep flowers in here, but I don't have any flowers. My best friend Tony got me this. Then I have this jewelry thing because it was too big to fit in my closet. I have shelves in my closet, you'll see soon. But this was too tall to fit on the shelf, so I had to keep it there. This is my diffuser, it's super cute. It actually lights up. And here's my piggy bank. Got some coins in there. Wait, I'm gonna try to see my diffuser. It changes colors. Love that. And over here is my closet. Behind the door, I do have a fan, but it's like, you know, summer gets hot or I don't know. I used to love the sound of a fan, now I don't even use it. But here's my closet. So these are my shelves. Uh, where my dress where my jewelry box could not fit got some makeup there don't really know how to do makeup so it kind of just sits there <laughs> got some jewelry in there lots of handmade randomness a few purses right there I really like arts and crafts so this is my painting and drawing stuff this is my supposedly money box but Look, I got $5 in here and a passport, so don't rob me, okay? This is, uh, me and Cameron have, like, a list of places we want to go. <laughs> so, we have, I need to, like, make a jar for that. We want to pick a number out the jar. So, on this side of the closet, start at the top. I have some of my work pants some aka shirts some long sleeves and random skirts i won't wear for a while <laughs> here are some clothes i got from ghana some thrift store business shirts i love wearing shawls to work because it's always cold these are like turtlenecks and sweaters other blouses that i wear to work so basically this whole middle shelf is work shirts. At the bottom I have summer skirts and dresses and more dresses. And then I have some shoes, stack sandals and heels in the back. On this side I have some pants, some sweats, some shorts. I have uh, some of my AKA sweaters and <laughs> a moose onesie, you know. Some some more sweaters, robes, jackets, purses. Down here are more sandals and gym shoes. I like heels and booties more than gym shoes. I do have some shoes in the front. And on this wall, I have. Just some pictures, <laughs> family, loved ones, grams, mama, my siblings. That's my family. This is ugly. 
and had big heads. And I mean, if you want to see what's in my drawer, this is full of t-shirts and some more blouses, I guess. Lots of tees though. T-shirts in that drawer. In this drawer, I have summer tank tops and like crop tops and summer shirts. That's my underwear drawer with swimsuits and undies. <laughs> I actually have a guest drawer <laughs> for when my friends spend the night. I have some like socks and like all of these clothes still have tags on them. Never worn shirts just in case. Have some night spend the night. Some friends, they don't have pajamas. So bought some random shirts and shorts for girls and Cameron. This is my pajama drawer. That's where I keep my some more sweats and shorts and t random t-shirts. And this is my sock drawer. Cover I got from Wayfair. The sheets I got from Wayfair also. Yeah, Wayfair. Got this plant from at home. I got these tables. It came in three in a pack. That one and these two came in a pack of three from Wayfair. Absolutely love them. Super easy to put together. So that is my bedroom. Love my bed. It's so comfy. Sometimes I don't want to go to work. And usually I don't have on my um light I have on my pink lights I do have a tutorial hanging these lights so this is typically how my bedroom looks nice relaxing So that's my apartment. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I can do an updated one with more furnishing. But until now, can I get out of my house?